this question and this is taken from class 10 chapter 6 uh, exercise 6.4 uh, question 7 prove that the area of an equilateral triangle described on one side of a square is equal to the half the area of the equilateral triangle described on one of its diagonal so in this question one square is given and on square there are two triangles one is on one of its side and one is on one of its diagonal so let's draw the figure then we'll understand the question it is saying that we have a square suppose this is the square right a b c d is a given square and it is said that one equilateral triangle is on one of its side so suppose this is ad side and on this side one equilateral triangle is there this is suppose suppose the side of this uh, square is a unit so a unit so this equilateral triangle's side is a unit right so all sides are a here because squares the sides are equal so now one more equilateral triangle is there that is on its one of the diagonal so let's see it is on the diagonal ac so this is ac diagonal so on this diagonal one equilateral triangle is there so suppose this is that equilateral triangle okay so on diagonal this is equilateral triangle and this is on side so we need to prove that area of this triangle which is on the side is half of the area of this triangle which is on the diagonal or you can say that area of the triangle which is on the diagonal is a double of the area of the triangle which is on the side right this we need to prove that okay so here we know the area of equilateral triangle is uh, root 3 by 4 into side square right this is the area of an equilateral triangle okay so here side so in this triangle we have a side that is a unit but in this triangle we do not have this side length so we'll find the side of this equilateral triangle by using pythagoras theorem in triangle abc see here in triangle abc this is a unit this is a unit we'll write uh, we'll find out with the pythagoras theorem ac so if ac will come then we have the side of this equilateral triangle with us so let's start so we'll write given what is given in the question so it's written that let a square a b c d of side a unit here okay triangle a d e is equilateral triangle on side a d so on side a d this is a d e equilateral triangle and a c f is equilateral triangle on one of its diagonal a c okay so let's find out the side of the this equilateral triangle which is on the diagonal it means we need to find out the diagonal only so we'll write here in triangle a b c using pythagoras theorem because this is a right angled triangle each angle of this uh, square is 90 degree so this is pythagoras theorem now so let's apply pythagoras theorem so here a c square is equal to means hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square so ac square is equal to base is a that is a square plus bc is also a so it means ac square is equal to 2a square so ac is equal to square root of 2a square so you can see here that square root 2 is square root 2 only and a square under root is square and root will cut so it will give under root 2a unit okay so this is the side of the equilateral triangle which is on the diagonal because diagonal length is this okay so now we'll start finding out the ratio of their areas so let's see here how to do i will write first of all area of triangle ade and area of triangle acf okay so in these two triangles areas ratio we'll find out see how uh, we know the formula of area of equilateral triangle that is under root 3 by 4 side square so in this triangle side square is a square only and here in acf under root 3 by 4 side square side is here under root 2a so under root 2a whole square will come so let's see what will be there 
so under root 3 by 4 under root 3 by 4 will be cancelled so open this it becomes a square over root 2 square is 2 only and a square is a square okay so these will be cancelled so we have here area triangle ADE over area triangle ACF is equal to 1 by 2 here see now we'll cross multiply this triangle ABC area will go in the right hand side so it becomes area triangle ADE this will be here only is equal to this is 1 by 2 and this will go here so it is area triangle ACF now you can see here that area of triangle ADE is half of the area of triangle ACF half of the area of ACF so it is only it is asking the question that prove that this area of triangle is half of the area of this which is on the diagonal so hence we will prove this question like this way thanks for watching